Hello friends, in this session we will be taking a look at coach views created by the prototype level event handler method. So as you are aware that regular coach views can we can make custom controls out of them using the exposed event handlers like load, uh, unload, validation, change, etc. But there is a different method to create coach views using the prototype level event handlers. First, let's take a look at the working of this sample we have. It's called a spark line control and it is available in the DOSVEC UI enterprise toolkit. So it exposes methods and we have a timer here which is being used to set the data like add a point to the spark line and if you run it it behaves like this it is a dynamic custom control wherein you can add the points using the exposed methods of the coach view and that creates it internally it is using a external javascript uh, library from Webex and let's take a look at the coach view itself. If we go to the behavior section, we'll see that there is nothing in the load, unload, view, change, etc. And everything is contained in this one call to a library method which is BPM ext control in its spark line. And we are calling the call method, passing the this object and the BPM EXT object. To make the BPM EXT available, you have to include the BPM EXT core.js from this particular zip file and also create a AMD dependency for BPM EXT. And for this function, we have the BPM EXT control.initsparkline.call. We have included a JavaScript library file which is sparkline.js. So, uh, this uh, the entire juice of whatever is happening in the control is contained within this one single file. And also, an external library has been loaded, which is the WebEx library, which is used to create the control. So, let's take a look at this sparkline dot js file so it has a constructor method in it and then similar to the lifecycle event methods of a coach view it has other methods for example a load method wherein we pick up all the configurations from the configuration of the coach view all the binding data and the configuration options then in the load we construct our control utilizing the markup created in the content area uh, of the coach view and then we have additional methods for example view similar to the view method and then we have change method where we can handle the change events and validate collaboration and unload so all those methods are uh, same as the lifecycle methods of a coach view which are externally available but here we are uh, combining them into a single file and this file contains everything necessary to render the uh, coach view and make the functionality work also similar to the ui toolkit methods of get data get text we have created functions which are used and you saw the dynamic behavior of the sparkline that is done through the add method which is provided here which adds a point to the sparkline. 